guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to talk about things that you should know before you sign yourself up and commit to doing a law degree and before you start these are things that people don't necessarily tell you when you're reading prospectuses and visiting universities um so i thought i would share them with you being somebody that's into her second year my second year in law so i hope you enjoy this video i'm sorry that i haven't really done that many law videos recently i didn't really know how much you guys were enjoying them but i did get a comment on one of my videos asking for more law videos so here i'm doing them for you um if you do leave comments and questions then um i will always always do a video for you okay so one of the things that you should know before starting your degree is that nobody can really help you with your degree when i i say this because people in the year above can say to you oh if you need any help um, I can help you. No, 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 that's not how it works. And you're not going to have that much contact with your lecturers and tutors one to one. It is a very isolating degree. Like, if you don't understand things, they'll help you with it. But for the most part of your law degree, it is your, you in your room or in, your, in the library reading the law, reading the law journals. It is um, a very independent degree. I know degrees are very independent in themselves, but a law degree specifically is very independent. Um, in fact, in some lectures, the lecturers will just be like, look, um, I can't really tell you that much about this. You just have to go sit and read this law and memorize it. This is what the law degree is like. They don't necessarily tell you that. Another thing is that there is not a certain amount that you can read. You can read your textbooks and you might still only get a 2-2. Like the reading is endless. There is not, you don't get to a point where you think, okay, I've done all the possible reading I could do in this area. No, you'll never get to that. It's up to you really how much you spend reading your degree. You, you can read the minimum that they give you, the compulsory reading, but that is not enough. I've done first year exams. I'm halfway through second year. I'm telling you that if you just read the textbooks that is not enough for your exams especially not enough maybe enough for your problem questions in your exams but not enough for your essays in your exams another thing they don't tell you which you really need to think about especially when picking universities is that some law courses are more practical than others like some of it is like the history of law in that you're learning old laws and then kind of touching upon what we currently do for me, that's not my preferred type. I prefer modules where I'm talking about, like practically what it's going to be like when I'm a lawyer because I want to be a lawyer. Um, I don't necessarily find interest in the history of the law as much. Like I still think it's interesting, but I want to be learning something practical. So for example, I think Bristol University of Law, they are really practical law um, university. So when you're thinking about universities, don't always think Russell Group and this university is top on the league tables. Think about how you want to learn. The best thing to do is to find a university that teaches the way that you like, that the, the course is something that you know you want to learn, instead of looking at league, tab league tables, because you want to find the best university that's going to be best for you, that's going to help you get that to one and first. Like, forget about league tables. I'm, I'm at a Russell Group University, but I'm telling you, forget about league tables. Most law firms don't even really focus on them that much anymore, and it's all trying to be diverse and employ people from different law, um, different universities, so don't spend your time worrying about league tables, okay? Another thing they tell you in law degree is just how useful others, your A-levels might be. So I didn't, I didn't, I only did law AS, but things like history A-levels coming to use here. In some, in some modules, maths, um, even maths GCSEs gets touched upon. So if you're doing your GCSEs and you're doing your A-levels, please like, fo like focus and like take things in, especially if you want to do law, because the, it does repeat itself a lot. Not really repeat itself, but it is touched upon. You use skills that you learn in that subject. I, I'm using skills that I learned in psychology when I'm doing sociology and law. I'm using skills that I learned in history um, and just general essay writing skills from English. So do focus on um, where, where you are now in your education, focus on it and put you, you, you a great amount of effort into it because it will all help with your degree. Learning to be independent, that's something that people didn't really tell. I know you have to be independent at uni, but just the level of independence that you need for your law degree is really important, especially if you're going to a university like mine that has so many law students that it's so hard to contact your lecturers. They do try, but it's, it's really hard. And, and this leads me on to the next thing they don't tell you is just not how little you get for your 9,000 grand that you pay, but it's just not what, you don't get a lot, I, I think, this is my opinion. Do not get a lot for the 9,000 grand you pay for your degree. Um, don't assume that you, it'll be like A-levels, you'll be able to contact your teachers, you'll be able to walk in and see the meeting, it is not like that. You have to book these time slots if you can even get one, maybe two weeks in advance because they are so busy. Prepare yourself for another whole level of independence. That's things, that's something you need to consider before doing a law degree. And mostly before doing a degree anyway. I mean, GCSE, you're definitely spoon-fed. A-level, I mean, 
the spoon is still there and it's just up to you to eat it. There is no spoon, you have to go get your food yourself in the degree. But that's just all part of growing up and that is all part of learning. Um, Other things that you might need to know that they probably did tell you, your law books are expensive, it's very hard to sell them afterwards because the law is pretty much always changing. The amount of reading you will do, you don't, there's no, the amount of reading that you will do for this degree, there is nothing that will prepare you for the um, vast majority. If you if you don't like reading on your own now, this is something you should do before you, you do this law degree, is practice just reading vast amounts of complex legal jargon articles that's just full of words that they don't need to use, they could simplify it but they choose not to. Get yourself used to vocabulary, that's things you kind of need to know before you do your law degree. I know it's kind of this has been quite discursive, but I hope it has also been quite informative for you. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.